Hi and welcome to another episode of Art and Soul and we are at La Raceway right behind the trade fair we're gonna hang out with an artist who focuses on graffiti art his name is Sky Scraper we're gonna have a good time because this is the first time I've actually done graffiti so I'm pretty excited my name is Melissa Awa this is Art and Soul let's go soul, art and soul. And welcome to yet another episode of Art and Soul, a special episode where we're here with Sky, a graffiti artist, and much more. Sky, how you doing? I'm fine. You're fine. First of all, is Sky your real name? <laughs> hmm. I think I made you my real you name. Made you your real name because you are known as Skyscraper. Yeah. And that's because skyscraper. you're tall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you are really tall. Yeah. But your real name is what? Uh, my government name or the <laughs> name my mom and dad gave mm -hmm. me is Daniel Kwesi Mensa. Wow. wow, such a nice name. <laughs> Daniel Kwesi Mensa, that's such a nice name. I could just be called DKM. Oh no, that's too close to it. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice one. So you are an artist. Yes. Would you just classify yourself as just a graffiti artist or an overall artist? What, what, what do you prefer? I feel I'm an overall artist, mm -hmm. but um, in that I focus on graffiti. Okay. Yeah, so I, I guess that's what my message stands at, me trying to put out more graffiti because I feel it's, it's, it's not a popular thing in Ghana. It's becoming a popular thing in Ghana, but it's not all that out there, yeah. That's actually very true. It's in maybe in the last, what, five, six, seven years? Yeah. If that. Yeah. So what's the response like? What was the response from your family? Okay, because considering where we are, we're in Ghana, a crowd to be specific, and, you know, we still uphold those like traditional values of our parents wanting us to go to school to be a lawyer or a doctor and there's nothing wrong with that but you know we see these days that more and more children are when i say children i mean you know young people are saying no no, no i want to be an artist i want to be a musician um what was the response from your family when they they found out you were an artist found out <laughs> or found out or have you told them or or, or have they not found out it, <laughs> it wasn't it's, it's not like Mm -hmm. um, you yeah, are gay and you have to tell them it's <laughs> not like that I think from bed I've, I've always been drawing from bed okay. that's it my mom and my dad they draw my mom was a fashion designer and nice. she drew the dresses my dad was was into engineering so he do a lot of the machines he worked mm -hmm. with so I think it was already there they just found out that they couldn't do any other thing with me mm -hmm. apart from let him do art he wants to do art let him just do the art nice. so yep yeah, I had it from um, High school, I did visual art. I went okay. to KNUSD and I did fine art. So it was, it was, yeah, he's doing what he loves, you mm -hmm. see. So like you always said, there was, there's really nobody to look up to because it's like now you have to go and research. You have to be in that field to know that, yo, I can, I can also be an artist too. So I, I feel I'm, I'm trying to be one of those people who make it a cool thing for those who are outside to look at it like, yo, I can do art and i want to do art and it's not like you know, the rowdy boys or those who are not good in school and stuff like that that did art so yeah i think i think for that purpose uh, i'm doing well like that so yeah i have a couple of people who love the fact that they do art and try and like yeah at least you can point me out to your parent like yeah he, he does that and he's doing well so yeah i'll be i'll be glad i've had i've had a couple but yeah, I, I'm hoping I can get a lot more people who want to do art and yeah you don't even have to have the talent you just have to to enjoy it, yeah. see that like an hobby and just yeah. pick it up. So the passion. Yeah, the passion. Okay, no, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm, uh, it sounds good that you've had your parents to support you. That you've come. That means you come from a creative family. Yeah. That's fantastic because some people have to. 
fight for their right to express themselves. And it's not because the parents don't want the best for them, but you know, maybe their parents didn't get that opportunity. Um, so no, that's fantastic. Uh, we need more creatives to be inspiring um, and to come together. So let's talk about creatives in general in Ghana, the artists in general. Um, you mentioned that, you know, we need more people to come out, not come out, so let's not use that term. Need more people to just be more forefront because you said that there's not really too many people you can look up to or people can look up to. So um, how do you feel we're getting support in the industry? Or is it just artists having to come together and support themselves? When I say support, I'm talking about from help from outside, from um, government support, other institutions, to really push artists to the forefront, to where they can be expo exposed on a global level, if I'm making sense. OK. Um, I think the first one will be, I like to be direct. So the first sure. one will probably be Chalewati, Chris. Okay. I feel um, um, the government uh, or Manche, who I know was the one that started the whole, did well because a lot of people go there because of the arts and all that. So then we have a lot of view from that side. We're still trying to bridge that whole thing with the government. So they give us chance to do a lot of arts out there because I really don't like it where I see a lot of posters on the street wall when we can do beautiful arts telling stories about our country, Ghana and make people love it, because I think that is going to be amazing. We, we got the chance to do um, We They Like Accra around um, I saw Accra I, I, I did not know that was you. <laughs> yeah, so I, I have the footage on YouTube. Yeah, um, see. And yeah, so yeah, we got the chance to do that. But you see, um, one thing I don't like is um, disrespect, having to look at artists and be like, do it for free, which we get a lot. Talk like, oh, that. you do it for free. I, I think I've done my part of doing it for free. Mm -hmm. When I was starting, I needed exposure, I needed all that. I've done that, so now at least give me something, because I think I would not disrespect any of my friends by picking them up and telling them, do this for, for free for me. At least I want to give you something. Like a token at least. Yes, like try, just give something, because we don't, we don't pluck the cans or the mm -hmm. paints from trees, we buy them. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, and we've been lucky to have acrylics in Accra, mm -hmm. uh, Osu, and yeah, Accra Osu. So um, they, they have most of the foreign cans that we use around, so it makes it easy for us to do most of the work. But I still don't mind. I feel if you have the technique, you can use any stuff you have. Because when I was in Kenya University, that was what our lecturer's taught us. So you, like, try and create it, because that makes it unique. That makes it your own style. It doesn't make you feel like, oh, if I don't have this, I can't create something. You're creative. You should be able to use any stuff you have to do yeah. or you have to do. So, yep, yeah, that's how come we've been able to go far. So I feel, yeah, we are praying the government gives us more walls to do what we have to do. We are praying people respect us for what we do. And, yeah, we'll keep going higher. So you mentioned something. You, you can come together as artists, but there's a little bit of hate. Talk about that. Is that, do you mean like there's competition where one doesn't want to see the other person succeed? Okay, I'll not call it that, but I feel like, you see, there are certain people that want to give us jobs, let me put it like that. So, same people feel like, I feel same people are already, you see, we don't really have a balance with the graffiti thing. Okay. It's like, with the art, same people started before same people, but we don't know that right now. Right. So, with the older ones, they probably think, oh, they want to charge more because they started early, I understand that. The little ones just started, they feel like, oh, this amount is okay for them. So we have this um, toss around from the, the sponsors or something, or those who are paying for the work. So uh, it's like debate. So when they see the person that takes the cheaper money, they tend to give it to them. Then we have the whole beefing thing, because they feel like, yo, you betrayed or stuff like that. But I feel like, yeah, and it's like, same people, if like we go for the work and nobody wants to take it, they want the money to go up. Some people pass behind to get and take the whole money and stuff like that. So, yeah, so it becomes a whole back and forth stuff like that. And I feel like art is life. We don't really have to make that our focus point. So yeah. let's just try and be open, talk about it and move on. That's it. So it doesn't become hate. So if you feel your other brother doesn't like it, try and talk to him about it. And yeah, I feel we can make a good way out of that. Absolutely. Yeah. So how did you get, you said you were drawing from early, but how did you move into the direction of graffiti itself? Okay, so um, I'm fast in drawing and um, I'm good to let me just put it like that. Yes, well, you are. I feel I'm, I'm good, mm -hmm. let me put it like that. So when I got to the university, we had to like, everybody had to branch into a form mm -hmm. of art to make it like, what you really love, like you're putting out your passion. And I had a strong passion for hip hop. So if you don't know, I do music too. So um, 
in hip hop, an element of hip hop is graffiti. So we have like the five elements or the four elements, DJing, rapping, box, beatboxing, and graffiti. So this uh, is like the foundations of hip hop? Like how, yes, when yeah. it first started? Yeah. Hip-hop. That's it. So we have all that in one. So graffiti was one of them, and I thought it was very cool. Now, I have a strong background with hip hop. I love music, but I have a strong background with hip hop music. I was, my my house was open to me listening to hip hop music from an early age. So, and I saw the influence it had on the society, the way we speak, the way we dress, the way we think, and I thought it was quite strong. And being in Ghana, knowing how hip life came about. Mm-hmm. And having that, you can see we were directly influenced by the Western cultures and how they dressed and all that. And it still goes on today. So I thought it was something I could talk about with my art. You see, try and bring that out. Because I listen to the music. I feel I have my own way of putting it out there. So I think some people can relate with it because they heard it in this song. So be like, yo, I remember hearing this in this song. So I can relate to it. But that, like the way I told you before, um, Apart from me doing the work the way I want to, I also sit back to see how people relate with it. Because it's the same with the music. Same people might hear the song and feel like, nah, this is a diss to somebody else. Mm-hmm. So somebody might look at him and be like, nah, he's trying to talk about the government. Somebody might look at that, nah, it's just art. Somebody doesn't even care. The person just wants to stand behind there and take a they picture. Take pictures, yeah. So I enjoy that. I enjoy every single bit of it because it gives me another view and perspective of how people relate with my work. Mm-hmm. And yep. Yeah, I think, yeah, so basically that's how I got into graffiti, if I remember to like that. That's actually a very cool story. <laughs> it, no, it's really, I mean, it's really cool. I think every artist story is a cool story. And we're surrounded by some of your work, right? Yeah, this is done by one of my guys. Some um, of you guys. Yeah, Walcott, yeah. So Walcott did this, yeah. Shout out to Walcott, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Shout yeah, he's, he's one of my young guys that did this work. And yeah, I like the way he, he bounced around this work. But yeah, I'm sure I, my work is almost around. I've already told you about it. They like Accra. Yeah, okay. Tell yeah. me about that. So how did that come about? And then also, I saw in the video, there was like quite a few of you guys. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. many people? Because it wasn't, it? <laughs> we, didn't have, we couldn't do it on our own. Like, yeah. It was, it was quite big. Uh, I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> so I, because I went too fast. <laughs> So, um, 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 what was happening then? We had, there was this program by, I think, Echo House and a couple of companies, and that's um, um, Social Media Week. Okay. Where they talk about social media, mm-hmm. and they gave us the opportunity that, oh, they got this permission to do a award, would we like to join? And I was like, oh, cool, I, I was free then. So, yeah, obviously, I went to the idea of, oh, would you pay me? But they said, oh, no, nah, they were hoping we could do it for free which I didn't like the idea, obviously, but it was like, they were open to the discussion of we getting paid, but that was one side. So we talked of the design, we talked of the way, looking at it, it looked very big, and the, 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 the landscape. Yeah, the landscape is slanted, yeah. so it was crazy. So we needed more hands, so I started hitting on the other guys. We had a couple of guys, we came together, we formed a group, and we're like, oh, cool, let's start doing it. And even when we're starting, I still had to put it online. Like, we started to put it online that, yo, if you're around and you feel like you want to join, wow. just come around. Because, yeah, because it it's very difficult to have people hit on me a lot, mm-hmm. asking me that they want to learn how to do graffiti. But I have to look for like a secure time, a place I know I'm doing graffiti. Then I let you know, okay, come around. This is the only way you can learn. Because right. that way you see me doing it. Other than that, you have to watch through my videos mm-hmm. on, online and stuff. So, a couple of people came around. And, yep, so we. We're trying to do this whole measurement and I thought it wouldn't work. So I told them, let's really do it. Let's not be all concerned. I feel that's how if we are all, we'll take too long to do it. So let's just freely do it. So we just opened our mind and we started doing it. It was just fun. If you, if you watch my video, it was all fun. Yeah. Somebody doing it, yeah, somebody, somebody, we didn't even know the person could do art, but the person came to do what he had to do. So we enjoyed it. But like the, the closest people that did it were like four or five. And yep, so yeah, we just made it happen, hoping that we'll get more words, but it went down the drain because I don't know, we felt some money passed somewhere, somebody was oh. eating money, there was no money coming involved. So it made it look like we were just used. You see, so they just used this and after that we didn't get any credit, we didn't get nothing. They were rather asking me for the videos and I felt like, nah, it's my videos, I'll put it out the way I want to. So yeah. Oh. Well, you know what? I always say on the show that I don't know how to draw and I'm not ashamed of it, but I think today I don't mind getting like my hands dirty and learning some graffiti. Like when I t- I'm so bad at drawing. Even my mom is like, she just doesn't even know how it happened. But no, I don't feel anybody's bad though. You haven't seen these. <laughs> I don't mind. Even my stick people look <laughs> crazy. I think I've, I feel people wear stuff. I, I feel now, I feel artists like having your signature. Mm-hmm. 
everybody has their own style mm-hmm. and you freely do it. So that's how I say it. So I look at your signature. Why don't I say your signature is bad? I feel like oh, that's cool. You have a good heart. <laughs> you are a good person. But I think it's cool if I try my hands at some graffiti today, no, right? Why not? I'm, I'm down for it. You're wow. ready. Yeah, I can see. All right, guys. So... Well, he has a good heart because clearly he hasn't seen what I can do or cannot do just yet. But I'm confident. So you guys, make sure you don't go anywhere. This is Art and Soul. We'll be right back. Soul, art and soul. Welcome back. You are still tuned into Art and Soul, and we're still hanging out with Sky, also known as Skyscraper, on some of his social media handles. So now it's time for me to try my hand at a bit of graffiti. Come to join you. Yeah, be careful, don't get yourself stained. Ah, be alright. We uh. just blend in with the clothes. <laughs> That's a good one, though. You think artistic, though. That's cool. So, don't you need like the white gloves and all that good stuff? Or you have one, okay, so you have a glove. Certain times I wear the gloves. That's if I don't want to get myself too dirty, but mm. I don't mind, like, I can do it without the gloves too. Wow, professional, huh? Yeah, so. <laughs> oh no, I think it, it's more natural because it's like, yeah, once you have the spray cans in your hands, like, you can feel it, you feel me? It's like wearing gloves and doing makeup. I, I don't know how to put it, like, you're not feeling it. Yeah, we so don't I do want that. to, <laughs> I want to feel it. So, yeah, so certain I times I just, I just kind of like, yeah. Try and fill it a little. So what do we have here? We have a pair of eyes. Beautiful eyes, actually. Yeah. So um, um, this is my character of a female musician. She's kind of like okay. underground, but she's outside the country. She raps. She, a real she does hip hop. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And she wears masks all the time, so nobody sees her face. Wow. Yeah. She's like a ninja. Musician. Yeah, something like that. She's a rapper. Like she's she's quite good. I just like her branding. I like the fact that she has that whole look. But the crazy part about it is mm-hmm. when I was coming here. I had an idea in my head. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do somebody with a hoodie mm-hmm. and like a gas max. But when I got here, I saw the the wall had this broken portion, okay. which you can see. Where the white is? Where the white is. Mm-hmm. And this was another broken portion. So I felt like, now nah, I could do something with this. Okay. You see, so I felt like because that's two, I could create a glasses. Mm-hmm. And because this is like one, I felt, yeah, I could do something with like somebody with like a face full max like like an amrob or something hey. so whilst i was creating i just thought yo i remember there's this female rapper who has the whole max mm-hmm. there and i decided to do it so has she seen it yet no 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 i'm not i don't know i have that whole thing about i don't force to send it to the people just so if somebody sees it and manages to send it to her cool okay yeah i feel so i feel so so i just trying to add certain elements so there was there was a time i didn't know how to to kind of like paint ladies mm-hmm. So I had to study a lot. The whole makeup, the whole contour. contour yeah, it's uh, important. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> if you notice, I have a little bit of that around. So I'm just trying to put in a little effect into it. But I want to know about your techniques, though. Is there a special technique or I, like, how do you do it? I feel, I feel everybody has their own technique with mm-hmm. graffiti. And to be like a boss in it, you don't... Okay, so with us, with, with graffiti, we have um, caps. Mm-hmm. That's like... Um, this one mm-hmm. you see so we have different types we have the neutral cap we have the large one which can spray this old place like we have phew. yeah we have the um, skinny cap mm-hmm. which is very tiny it helps you do a little stuff like this okay yeah so we have all those caps which helps a lot but like I don't know in the whole graffiti world to be an expert you're able to use like a normal cap to do everything ah. so you can you can hold it and just have a large you see, so this is coming out large. If I want it thin, I'll get closer so, and I get it thin. So it's like distance, pressure. Yeah, Got so you it. know how to put it together. So you can you can fade it. And if you want oh, it to drip, fade. yeah, you can make it drip by just and it's start dripping. You feel me? So you, you know how to handle it. But at the end of the day, if you feel that it's going to be too much work for you, you can always switch the, the caps. The caps. So what about safety? Between. What? Like you're inhaling all these shoes. What about safety? Are you not yeah, worried? I do have my face masks. I have my face masks most ah. of the times. But you see, because it's an open area, uh-huh. at the moment I'm not a hand. But when I get close, there are certain times, like me working with the eyes right now, I, I like to be close to it like this. Okay, so you just put so the mask yeah, on. so yeah, I, I I can do this. But because I'm very close from other people, I just have the mask. So yeah, because I work mostly. But literally, if you don't have the max, if you don't have the max, once you stand from just from the length of your hand to where it's sprayed, it wouldn't affect you that much. It wouldn't okay, affect okay. you at all. So you can just have all this like together and yep, you're good. So um, let's just see, let's pick out from a cartoon. Um, 
I like Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Too difficult. No, nothing's difficult for you. Just <laughs> too extra. It has to look like Jerry from Tom and Jerry. So we have... You know which one is Jerry, right? The mouse. Of course. Oh, I'm just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about it oh. being perfect. You have to do it your own way, you see, and love it like it's yours. Be yourself. So go, let me see. Are you, you sure you want that? Are you sure you want me to yeah, do Yeah, I want you. This, this is yours. You said, you said, you said that. So, yeah, you're the one that said Jerry. So let's go. Jerry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should just accent it. Like. So just slow. Don't worry. Feel free. Take it slow. Don't even go fast. Just go. If you are tired, you can stop. Tired? Then you continue. Then you stop. Then you continue. That's it, you're fine. So let's go. You want to start from the top? Yeah, All right. I'll be brave. So now with, with this right now, you, you you have the body. This like let's just say there's a skeleton. You can leave it like a tag, but sometimes I like to bring out the whole life in the work. So um, you have to stand back a little sure. because. So now we are bringing out the shadow. You see, so bringing out the shadow. Yeah. So with that one, I because you want it to flow in a certain pattern, you uh, you focus on certain parts because I needed to to cover its ears. Nice. Then, yep, I come in, do this. So it really like highlights, like like yeah. brings it to life. Like yeah. it takes it. Okay, so this is my interpretation. It takes it from flat to like. Yeah, yeah. giving it like a three D form. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so wow. we have that. So I cut it. Bring that. Don't want anyone to report me, so I started tagging across. <laughs> yeah, don't report me, so I'm, I'm tagging well, a crap. <laughs> well, it's not bad. It's better than those who put the whole posters around. You see, we don't have... You know graffiti is illegal outside the country, right? Yes. Yep, and you could get four to five years in prison. And they still do it regardless. They still do it. So, yeah, they, they are trying to make a point. I feel if people want to be political about it, cool. Let's be political about it. I think I'll go for graffiti than having people pasting mm -hmm. posters anyhow. You even have the government doing it too. Mm -hmm. When it's voting times, you have them putting a lot of stuff like that around. And that is the our own country. So you'd rather see art instead? Yeah, let's put art around. You see, so yeah, I, I would, I'll be cool with that. But you know, it's Ghana, so <laughs> we are trying to be nice. We are going the right way and yeah. We are doing it as cool as possible. I think I have to give him the whole smiley thing. Yeah. So let's just say, I've, a little bit, I brought it to life a little. No, you so definitely upgraded Let me it. give him the whole, yeah. Aww. Now. When Jerry's come to life, what colors do you need? We need black. Uh -huh, so black. we have. No brown. Our black. Mm. We don't want to be all around. We're just trying to bring a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, life to it. Let me put it like that. So. We're trying to bring a little life to it. With, with graffiti, your two best friends has to be white and black. Because, oh. yeah, they, they kind of like do almost every single thing. So, probably nobody knows what this is. Uh, black just makes it easy for them to this know. This is hair. Yeah. That is true. It cuts it out. It cuts it out. So, we have the. I hope this stays here forever. <laughs> yeah. I think mm. it has this hole. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you think? The whisker things? Yeah. Is so you can still about? you can still pass it on the red if you want to. So like you're talking the, about the whiskers. The orange, sorry. Uh, the orange. Yeah, so yeah, do the 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 Hey. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> it looks like a That's uh, a good one. It's like a, a haircut gone wrong. <laughs> so since okay, same times I, I do this or I just see so because you want it to look like one of those tiny hair flying so yeah. you just yeah then boom. Hmm. Boom. Boom. it's true so 
then see you've already done this so you can choose to just throw it around like and now we have what a duck so we have a hi to a speech bubble <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Y'all thought I wasn't going to do it. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's a soup. <laughs> yeah, you see, so now mm. you've really done it, like the way you want to. <laughs> <laughs> there cool. we go. Cool. <laughs> you don't I'm... have to force it, like, okay, they'll not get this. Now, if they don't get it, you're fine, regardless. I love this. <laughs> Oh, great. I can see you, you're getting there. You're, you're moving from a toy to a robot. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, so the robot's the next level. Don't mind me, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I like this. Thank you. This was dope. This is really dope. Like, yeah. I learned, like, you even just, you actually mentioned something um, when we were talking earlier. When people want to learn, you tell them to just come around because that's the best way. And it's really true. Yeah, so. It's really true. I put it online, you come. Yeah, so I have a few cans, whatever you a want few? to create. A few? <laughs> and set up a shop, a kiosk with this <laughs> amount of um Yeah, and it gets finished very fast. So yeah. yep. And it's yeah. So a lot of people say, yeah, there's no eraser when it comes to graffiti. Yep. So you just have to love what you do, love your mistake, love what makes it and if you feel you want to work over it, yep, you repaint it and do it again, but I feel the way you love your signature, that's how you should that's love you the should art. Do, yeah. I, I know, I agree. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. My first time doing graffiti. I'm glad. And I enjoyed it. I wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, you, you, you are perfect. Slump it like that. For a toy, you are perfect. You're just a nice person. You had your signature. That yeah, was a nice see? one. Yeah, I hope to see you around so we can do more graffiti. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The whole crew, everybody needs to come around. Hey, wait, one step at a time. <laughs> now, that's a bit intimidating. <laughs> so where else can we find some of your works and then also your social media handles? Okay, so... Um, you can find my work right now. We are at La Race Way around behind um, Trade Fair mm -hmm. in Accra. Um, you can find most of my work too in Kumasi, um, wow. Ken USD. Um, one is at um, Tetakwashi Roundabout. We do like Accra. Every Sky Girls work you see around, you see it there. That's my work. So I think my work is almost everywhere. Chalawate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and yeah, you can follow me on social media to keep up with wherever you want to find me. On social media, I am Scraper2020. The scraper is S C R A P A mm -hmm. 2020 on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Love at Artist Life. Be you. Be you. Yeah, I love put it. your soul there. Oh, we got. Oh, oh. oh you're trying to do look because I'm I'm sm I'm short. I'm not trying to do. <laughs> it's okay. Well, on that note, no, I've had so much fun. I think I'm gonna leave you to do a little bit more work, guys. I've had a lot of fun with skyscraper himself like he said his works are all around Accra even Ghana actually make sure you check him out on social media and you never know he could be graffitiing uh, somewhere near you in the near future my name is Melissa Awad this has been another episode of Art and Soul I'll see you next time So, art and soul.